Hello everybody, I'm Dan Hamer from the Dan Hamer Game Channel and welcome back to Kaiser Rig where today we're starting a new playthrough to replace my La Plata playthrough which did end an absolutely disastrous last episode with the uh, failed invasion of the Yucatan Pact. However, we are back now playing as America and yes, we are not going to avoid a civil war this time, we are going to be participating in said civil war. So, yes, and if you cannot tell from where I'm building my factories, that is indeed going to be the Combined Syndicates of America. A CSA, I think. I think that's what they're short. Combined Syndicates. Yeah, mm -hmm. Yep, that's what it's short for. So, yep, we'll be playing as them. So, yeah. We'll hopefully win the Civil War. It's been a while since I've actually fought the Civil War, so, um. We'll see how it goes. Oh, let's get some producing convoys as well, why not? There we go. And let's get going, shall we? Obviously, we have no focuses right now until the uh, 1936 election, so... Yeah. And obviously, we won't be staying with this focus tree. We've already seen it once. And the game did lag for us. That's why that series kind of ended prematurely. Because I was wanting to do a lot more with that playthrough. A lot more. Like, um... Like, that was that was bad. Because I don't even think we bet the Commune of France. I think I just had abandoned ship. Which is quite disappointing because I was enjoying doing that. But, um, yeah, we're going to have to wait just a wee bit. So we're stuck with Herbert Hoover right now. Obviously, we'll be seeing Jack Reed very soon. There's Black Monday. And there's the usual Afghanistan-Indian War. And there's the Great Depression for us. And there's some loss of stability for us as well. So Afghanistan always does absolutely terrible against India. I mean, because five divisions is not enough to withstand the potential 31 max that they have, even though they have three factories. Sheer number of men just completely overwhelms Afghanistan. Like, I've tried to save them. It doesn't work. Saudi Arabia is going to form pretty soon. And uh, restoration of democracy in Australasia. And we're remembering the Almo, the 100th anniversary. Which did give us one stability. St. Patrick's Day Flood. We shall help the people. Just because it increases our stability. Now, I'm hoping the uh, Pacific states don't join any factions. And obviously, we will be taking out the Entente. Because, um, well, Canada is a pretty good target for us. And we might actually go for uh, Mexico as well. Uh, the Stanley Cup of 36, who will win? And the Toronto Maple Leafs won. Fantastic. Uh, the Indian Citizenship Act of 1936. In order the game most important for the North and the West, it has been proposed the Senate and the House of the Indian Citizenship Act be passed. Effectively... Elevating all indigenous people in the United States from second class to full. Pass the act, and yeah, that's the loss in Stanley Cup. Boo, we lost. We would have been saying yes if we were actually playing as Canada. Hmm. Who else shall we invade? Might invade Cuba, depending on uh, where, uh, well, where they decide to, who they decide to join, I should say. They usually join the Entente. Obviously, the Ottawa's will be fighting a uh, war pretty soon. Which they may or may not win. They seem to have gotten a little bit better um, recently in my playthroughs at uh, taking on people. Uh, well, taking on the Axis when it forms. I think it helps if uh, Libya stays with them. Uh, are they hell being found gu uh, innocent? Guilty. Oh, I should have said yes because I'm going to put the syndicate. Oh well, it doesn't really matter anyways. Revolution in Siam. Who has taken charge? I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name. And Arthur Hortner is elected as the chairman of the Tuck. So the syndicates. Federationists. Can't believe we struggled that. Oh well, great heat wave of 36. Around the now. Some uh, competence for f once. 
Death of Alexander Burkham. There's construction one done. Um, I can't remember how our um, research works. I think we get given some. Gone with the wind. Okay, it's um, he's remaining. Fourth of July. Some stability. Well, a whole one stability. Such a uh, game-changing amount, really. When I say that, I'm being sarcastic if it's not obvious. Edward VIII sends a letter to Hoover. Probably telling me that I should watch out and that potentially I could be going they could go to war with us or something. I think that's what the gist of that letter is. Well you know what? screw you, Canada. I'm coming for you anyways. And there has been a coup in uh, Siam already. Oh no there hasn't. We'll see what happens with the Philippines. Probably get their freedom really. Yeah, 27 divisions does seem a lot right now, mainly because we have five. Oh, there's um, the German East Asia being declared war by the Indo-Chinese Union, who I am definitely going to be playing at some point. I will definitely be playing as them. Don't know exactly when. Probably after Iran finishes, which has one episode left. If not, that's already finished and you may be seeing that very soon. Come on, win the elections. The heat wave is over. Come on, September, shouldn't he be too far away now? Should I see what kind of generals we've got, field marshals? The usual there, like Eisenhower and everything. Oh, a day in September. We're going to invite the military to step in. So we do have uh, General MacArthur here, which does bypass that. Um, we're not going to actually do any focuses, because, um, well, I'm not staying as them. Let's not do it. Average popularity. The, war is, the Civil War is going to kick off soon. I'm just going to chill. I don't know what the best way is to fight the uh, civil war, but um, we'll see. I might just have to spam all the bloody militia divisions. It shouldn't be too far away, really. Oh, we'll do the protector of democracy. Junta. MacArthur the Dictator. None of this research really mattered at all. Come on, where is it? Where is it coming? I want some action in this episode. I'm going to say, the worst episodes are the episodes where I do absolutely nothing and I'm just sitting here trying to think of things to say to alleviate the boredom. Well, not the boredom, but you know what I mean, like the silence. You can't just have me sitting here like a potato the whole uh, whole time. Um, yeah, pass the act and yeah, declare martial law, why not? That's right folks, you'll be staying in your house. Days of violence, the band stands. There goes some stability. Things are starting. Oh, there we go. The rising has begun. Stand by the workers. Um, right. Oh, I had all. I think I've got all the research that I completed. Obviously, not the ones that I had started. So we'll get them going. Superior firepower. We have three factories. That's all going to go into guns. High popularity United nice States declare war on the American Union State and they declare war on us. The second American Revolution. Right, so the Central Committee of the Combined Syndicates of America is this your pro proclamation? Proclamation. 
The all power in the foreign United States has now legitimately passed the working classes to be exercised through continental chamber of syndicates and defended from external enemies by the revolutionary syndicate guards. The secretary of the new chamber is... Right, that's going to boost our uh, popularity with all the uh, the others by 50, regardless of what we choose. He's an oil... Smiling Oilman. In base stability plus 10, refinery construction fees up by 12, gets 50,000 manpower. 25,000. Rise, my minions. Do you know what? We're not actually going to go to war with them. Read in the C66. Read has declared the C66 has been independent from USA and began arming the more violent. Read these men thought war shuttles. End them. So, we're not actually at war with uh, Huey Long right now. But, um. We will be eventually, don't worry, I will eventually run. I just want to I can just do a lot of damage against the Americans, just focus all my map on them initially and see what we can do. Do we actually get readers like a field marshal or anything? So we don't. But um You're actually not too bad for the time being. Obviously all my divisions are uh, militia, if you cannot already tell that. Some more manpower, some more division. One whole more division, fantastic. And the Amirks. Manpower regardless. So, more minions, more minions, and part of the navy join us, and we get claims. And more manpower. Right, the People's Liberation Army, let's go ahead and do that. Got some more divisions. Union of Britain wants to send some help. The Pacific States has joined. And they want an, an aggression, so we'll take that for the time being. Why not? Support the militias. So we can have organization of planning speeds down. A militia based army, which does give us. What do we do? I think we go ahead and we integrate them. A well regulated army. That's what I think we go for anyways. Whoa, 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 them later, Jesus, we're not doing that. Holy hell no. To hell with Canada. Damn, right the hell with Canada. Dex, fine. Right, let's, um, let's just start building more civilian, not civilian, military factories. More minions. Right, our friends from Britain are here. I'm just going to change these guys into their own uh, wee uh, group because I'm going to continue them pushing. Maybe you two as well, actually. Uh, what we'll do is we'll continue to advance. Yeah, and we shall put you in charge. No, we shall not, actually. We shall put in charge our best. So you can push like that. Um see if we can just find some sp spare divisions just to deal with that issue. Hopefully we can catch them at Philly. How many divisions he's actually got? I've only got 40. Where is the militias? Do we get some infantry divisions? If we just go ahead and change that and that, do we try and get some of these guys in? Seven, seven infantry divisions. Yeah, the knees. Right. 
Right, we need to deal with this wee uh, bit over here, like, that definitely needs to be dealt with pretty quickly. Um, yeah, we're gonna grab what we can. For the time being, just because, well, I think we kinda just want that. Uh, Huey is pushing hard on us. That division just needs to uh, meet its end, so let's just go ahead and do that. Socialist Republic of what? Oh, the Philippines has went um, syndicalist. Well, that's nice. Good for them. Let's, let's push in there. One max. Bit rough. United Baltic Duchies in there uh, having a wee war. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just bring that down to here, and we'll continue pushing. America has 104 divisions apparently. Oh, Mexico is just getting involved as well. It's really doing more militia, actually, but we've got some infantry now. I have a funny feeling the majority of the American divisions are actually um, probably stuck at Washington. Although some more are actually up here. Can you actually just stop advancing and actually sort yourselves out, please? Just a wee bit and let's just encircle them, please. For you to grab what we can. Is that more troops? Fantastic, get there. Syndicalist Terror. So Dimitri or is it the legitimate? It is Dimitri. Integrate the militias. Let's go ahead and do that now. Are we on 50? It's not too bad now. Our planning speed is just absolutely horrendous. Recovery rate and division attacks up, which isn't too bad, I suppose. And a back over over here just to deal with that. Well, help with that, uh, holding that area. These guys are going to rejoin them. And this is actually going to go ahead and just move back up here, and this is going to come here. And we'll get these lovely geezers just to continue to push this way. Just try and push into America as much as we can. Pacific States is actually doing pretty well considering they've only got 24 divisions max. Right, they have lost some of their land, but um, at least that. Reduces like their uh, overall front. The Second International now Congress. We shall attend. They are our future allies after all, so let's just get off on the good foot, really. Right, I've just realised we're kind of we really do. And do that instead, just because I don't like how we're leaving these gaps. Both. We've lost 27,000, that's not too bad. I love how we're going to the Olympics, even though um, we're current war. Ah, let's go anyways, guys. Even though our best men are probably fighting right now.
Oh, um... Really, America? Well... Thanks for that. Thanks for just... Making us a clear victor. We were the victors, are you serious? I don't know what that was for, but we got some stability there. Which is always a plus. Increasing stability, thank you. Nice, from Mexico, even though, well, in the events, anyways. Uh, Central American assistant arrives. Don't know what they sent us, but, oh, a militia division. I will not complain about that one bit. The final act of the Second International Congress, and we get some more stability. And we got some British help. America shouldn't be, I was going to say, it shouldn't be too far away. Is the American Union state? They are. So, hence why they're on our side of the war. Let's get some fighters in the sky. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get them bloody told. Right, we've integrated the militias. I don't know how much that is done for us, really. Superior fire powers. Definitely what I'm going to be using. How is this 30? Which, mmm. Um, it's not the end of the world. It's not great either, but, you know, plus 15 attacks quite decent. I'll lose this division. Um. I think if, you know, Washington was to fall, uh, happy days. Right, we'll just let the uh, Pacific States deal with that. Obviously, we are going to just fight them straight away. Uh, the Indo-Chinese have got their freedom. They have got it. So, how many men have we lost? We've lost 37,000, which is nothing compared to what the US has lost. To be honest, they were never going to be able to do much anyways. These divisions being been freed up, which you know is quite good. So what we can actually do is, we can bin all this. Even that front as well. And we can bin these guys here. Big front. One division here. 74 max. Um. I doubt that, but... Pacific State give them access. We can ask for military access, we can't give them access, though. If everyone just gets in position... And we'll get this run yet, I want here. Which does look like we're going to be able to accomplish that, which is quite handy. Might be able to push in here as well. Maybe. We'll just have to attack from multiple angles with multiple divisions. Um, they're dead, so I don't know why they're not... Yeah, I, I think the only thing that really needs to fall at this point is Washington. I just realised these guys have been completely cut off, so... Yeah. They, they won't have much left after this. No, they're pretty much goners now. See that? Still got a lot. You know what I mean? Okay, Romania has been annexed. Just cancel these. Yeah, we don't need that. We're fine. We're good. Fire the guns. Division attack plus five. The artillery bonus isn't really going to impact us too much now, for uh, obvious reasons. Don't know what they're possibly attempting to achieve here, but try and survive that just as well as I wanted it to. I'll take some free divisions. 
nice. And we also got a nice wee encirclement on these guys here. Right, we'll just come into China. Here no chance that they were helping. Right, let's get mobile defense. I have 51 divisions. He has 54 max. And MacArthur has 50, apparently. Which clearly he does not bloody have. So yeah, now there is a nice big amount of them over here. What's the chances of me actually pushing into the American Union state? Not really how I wanted it to go. I was saying that it's not too great actually. Let's just stop pushing. Eight thousand guns. Do we want to get more infantry? Maybe beneficial for us. Um, I'm definitely making this a longer episode, guys. So it's probably in two parts. So yeah, just give you that head. So just because of this uh, civil war. Right, research. Let's go ahead and grab you for future use. Fire and guns. The minion of India is going after Nepal. Let's go ahead and get the road girl. The rebel girl, not the road girl. Jesus. Right, Ramos trying to be a little bit cheeky here and try and push in there. I think we go ahead and get some more infantry. Definitely help the front. That was supposed to go to you. Okay, maybe they're not supposed to go to him. Having none of that. Right. Come on. We can surely defeat them. Oh, they managed to get. Gonna end up being a two from war at some point. Fifty. Imagine. Follow Washington. How that? It's happened. Gandhi has taken power. How the hell? What? What the? What? The, what the freak? What? What the hell? And they've actually got that as well. Can I just say, I'll now completely cut off. Good disastrous, really. Although everyone kind of needs to get their finger out and save these divisions. Which might be easier said than done. See if we can be a bit aggressive to try and just hold them back. If they don't die, we're going to get a nice wee encirclement. German volunteers are... Wait. I did read that right. German volunteers. But the Germans... The Germans aren't... Okay. No, they've sent them to the Union State. Some divisions. Right, how many divisions have you actually got? 70 on two factories. Really? Two military factories? At least I've got eight. Actually, it's Prudence. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, there's the, the Axis Ottoman War starting. Let's get syndicalist propaganda. Uh, let's get the first dispersed support. Oh, they capitulate pretty quickly there. What are you guys doing? Everybody over here. 
Yeah, can you trance, please? You've been doing me a great favor. So our overall casualty is 58,000. Not too bad, really. Latvia has capitulated. Do another one, but obviously we are definitely going to have to go to war with them. They do have like half the country at this point. Um, okay, I don't know how that's happened, but uh, get your backside back there now. I can't afford you to mess up my front like this. See, I would get more um, more infantry, however, I don't think we... I think it's best we just keep our guns now and just push. Because I don't think Huey's going to have too much left, really. Um, we don't need it. We're not going to steal from ourselves. Right, we freed them up. Well, let's go ahead and redraw this. Sixty-four divisions max now. Oh, so that's what happens to Reed. He's actually got an illness. There's something wrong with him. We must win this before he uh, disappears, though, guys. Definitely. What happens if I just draw it to go down here? Yeah, that's not what I want at all. I want every nook and cranny to be uh, pushed into. Yeah, we're probably going to have 100,000 casualties by the looks of things. That's not actually disastrous. Leader experience and reconnaissance. Okay. Uh, let's see if we continue the grow. Obviously, we are going to aim sort of our, out our army because we're not going to rely on militia. That is for sure. That is one thing I'm sure about. No, no. Checking about initially. However, they're all going to get scrapped at some point. Wow, we basically put a, put zero dent into their uh, into their whole score right now. Into their victory points, we've done absolutely nothing. However, Atlanta is now about to be surrounded, so see what happens there. And uh, you know what? I hate how these divisions are uh, thinking they can stay there. Let's just encircle them. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do not do that. I need you guys to remain over here. Right, you guys can remain part of this front over here. Because I need that to be secure. I need Texas to be secured. These guys can quickly deal with this wee block. That. And then everyone's going to be down here pushing for uh, Miami. And the rest. Whoa, 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 whoa. If I can just draw it right. Yeah, I think that's good. That's good. Okay, this has opened up a little bit, so um, it's gonna get closed again. That's fine. Yeah, but you guys can hopefully deal with them. We have far too many different templates. I know half of them are not being used. Atlanta's been captured. Slash and burn. Vengeance will help morale. Yeah, let's just do a little vengeance. We're not gonna slash and burn. Although it gave us 5k, we're not really that desperate for guns. Really, we could bulb if we wanted to. We'd definitely be fine to do so. Oh, jeez, what's going on? You guys take southern Texas. You guys push straight to New Orleans. You guys go in there. It's just a matter of time. Yeah, it's 12 divisions pushing in there, so you know, 
No, no way should they be losing. If I can... Yeah, we'll grab what we can. circlements now they just need to be dealt with no straight over to that front please you guys straight over to there these guys should have this covered up here let's go first why not then that finished Thirty-four max. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I think think things are pretty much finished. Hopefully, this isn't actually the. Quickly crush them. Casualty one fifty-four thousand. Bit more than I thought we we're actually gonna take. Oh, uh, victory is ours. We've won. There's a bit of a eyesore over here, but let's go ahead and just start sorting our army out in the next episode. So that's the civil war dealt with. Obviously, I'm gonna have to put front. But the non-aggression pact runs out, which uh, I can't cancel right now. U.S. government in exile in Canada, and I'm. America first escape. So I take it we can now work on everything else over this way. Second constitutional convention. Also got the re the Reed Doctrine. Join the international. We're definitely going to do that. Reclaiming. We should probably do that. West Coast General Strike. Yeah, we've got to recover from the American Civil War now. It's not too disastrous. Anyways, guys, I am going to leave that first episode there. So, thank you very much for watching. I'll be back very soon for some more.